Hi, today I'm doing a video on this Rubicon Blackgate F capacitor. I've been troubleshooting an amplifier and these are in the amplifier and one channel was not amplifying at all although it was passing the signal it just wasn't amplifying and I've narrowed it down to this guy um, and one thing I noticed was underneath here you can see um, it this thing has either leaked or um, some of that corrosive glue was on here too that that glue that they put on all the amplifier and electronics to hold the capacitors on and that sort of thing. I believe that stuff gets to be, for one thing, corrosive. I've seen it eat through leads before, and it also becomes conductive over time. And this one had some of that glue on, and I've scraped most of it off. And I'm just wondering if some of that glue got up inside of here. But, um, but yeah, these are supposed to be like legendary capacitors, I guess, for quality. Um, but I'm going to be replacing it with uh, something in the Nichicon line. So anyway, I want to show you what this is reading. So um, you can get an idea. I've got my LCR meter here. And... See, 1.3 picofarads, 2.4. See, and this is a 100 microfarad. And if you if you look at it from a like an ESR perspective, um, let's see here if I can get the ESR to show up. Let's see. Get it back on here. See if I can get the ESR to. There it is, 11.3 mega ohms. So, obviously that's really bad. You you'd want something in the one ohm or less, probably for this, um, or, or close to that. Now, to contrast, here is another. 100. Boy, I want this thing to focus. 100 microfarad, 63 volt. Man, I cannot get this thing to focus really well. Um, brand new Nichicon. And so I just want to show you what you're looking at for the ESR or something like this. If I can get it to, to read here. 0.29 ohms. And this is reading 91.6 microfarad. So this is in spec for sure. I mean, it's brand new. So I don't know why this thing is not. Ooh, there we go. Much better. Um, so anyway, um, what I want to do in this video is take this apart and see if there's something obvious. Um, you know, I'd guess that's something from here, from this uh, lead into the internals. So I'm going to take this thing apart and let's see what's inside of it. I'm going to put it here. Oops, sorry about that. And we'll go here. So first things first, I'm going to just trim this outer portion off and then we'll see how we're going to get it apart from there I'm just going to trim this thing try not to cut myself here
these capacitors sell for a lot of money because you can't buy them anymore. And apparently people like the sound of them. So these will sell for 30 or 40 or 50 bucks a piece. They're kind of outrageous. But anyway, I'm going to get this outer part off of here. Trim this back a little bit. There we go. Now, it's got all this white stuff in here. I wonder if this thing did leak or if that was some of that glue that started eating away at the aluminum. That would be my guess. I'm going to pause it here for a moment. So what I noticed is if you look at this thing, see, it looks like this is all corroded. And I wonder if that glue is conducting between that pin and this or, or the corrosion just went inside. So I'm going to take the razor and just kind of remove some of this stuff out of here. See how that whatever's in there is And I think just for fun, I want to measure this thing again. With the meter. See if it changed anything. Just by cleaning that away. Nope. Uh, let's see here. Thirty four kilo ohms. Well, that's interesting. Twenty nanofarads. Yeah, it's still way out of spec. So, I'm going to dig into this a little bit further. So, I had to go at this from a different angle here. And just scoring it. I think I've cut through it. And I'm gonna see if I can get this thing apart. See, I've scored it pretty good so that it's so. I'm just going to cut it here and split it open if I can. Oh yeah, I think we can get that apart. Yeah, see the metal is actually corroded. Yeah, it's actually kind of brittle there. But anyway, let me trim this a little bit more. Yeah, 
closet here. All right, let's see if we can get this thing apart. Yeah, there's definitely corrosion inside there. So I don't know if that's from the electrolyte or if that's from the glue that got in there or what, but... But we're going to get this thing apart somehow. Okay, I was able to split that a little bit more. See if we can peel this back a little bit. Let's open it like a can of sardines. something else to grab into here. Let's see here. Peel it back the other way here. Yeah, there's plenty of corrosion here. I can do this without hurting myself. See? Yeah. I'm going to zoom in here. You see, this terminal from this one which is the one that had all that gunk in there, it totally eroded, cor corroded away. So it's no longer touching the plate. Whereas the other one is still good. So this pin is still good. This, So there's the point of failure right there. Now, if that was the glue that etched up, or that glue that, um, leached up inside there and corroded that away. I don't know, but I have seen it do that before um, on other, you know, component leads. So if I see it just totally just it's just ate away at that and so yeah, that's what happened here. I may see if this thing will unroll. Maybe I'll break this off of here. See that lead is still on there fine. But we can try and unroll this. Let me back out a little bit. I 
think that was just a little insulator between the the can. Here we go. So that's what's inside a black gate. Oh uh, yeah. It it just corro that lead is just gone. See this one's still firmly attached. So that other one would have been attached on this other side. Right there. So that's where it should be. Yeah, the lead should have been coming right off of this. There's the good one. But it, uh, yep, there's the end of it. So that's, uh, that's it. That's where it failed. I think that glue just got in there and corroded it away. Anyway, that's the inside of a black gate Rubicon capacitor. One that failed. Thanks for watching.